Aquarius, welcome back to the channel. Monica Louvre here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading from mid-October to mid-November. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Aquarius, in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge, Aquarius, from now until mid-November is the Eight of Shields, which is the Eight of Pentacles in this deck. You also have the Eight of Wands in terms of what you don't see coming, okay? So Aquarius, your challenge, Eight of Pentacles. Now this challenge with the Eight of Pentacles from now until mid-November has a lot to do with possibly a job that you're doing. This could be something you're crafting, you're creating. This could also be in regards to a relationship that you're involved in because as we see here, um, we see a couple with a child, okay? And there may be some sort of challenge connected to the Eight of Pentacles. We're gonna clarify this. We're gonna get more information for you in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the Two of Swords, you have the Three of Cups, and you have the Queen of Wands. So in the recent past, you could have been dealing with a Cancer, maybe a Leo, a Sagittarius, Aries. I'm also getting um, maybe a Taurus here in the past. There's something here about reconciling or coming back together together or celebrating something here um in the past okay and with the two of wands there could have been an important decision or choice in terms of the direction of your life here we're going to clarify this we're going to get more information on that for you in a moment in the present moment you have the shadow card which is the devil card i'm going to show you okay you have the shadow card and you have the nine of cups and you have the nine of swords. So in the present moment, there's conflicting energies, okay? And the conflicting energies are coming from possibly a commitment, a connection, a relationship that you're involved in. Now, what is really being um, challenged here, because there's an imposing energy right now, what's really being challenged here with the nine of cups, um, you know, is your desires, for satisfaction. It's like there's a need for satisfaction in the present moment, but there's also equally some sort of fear connected to that. And it's connected to possibly a relationship that you're involved in. We're going to find out more about this when we clarify in a moment. Now in the near future, you have the Knight of Cups, you have the Page of Wands, and you have the Six of Wands. So in the near future, there's definitely uh, planning here, okay? I see planning in the near future that you're planning something for the future to have some sort of new beginning. And you have the six of wands here as well. So whatever this new direction is, Aquarius, that you're moving into in the near future, it's going to lead to tons and tons of success. Now, some of you are choosing to move into a completely new direction in the near future because somebody here, and it could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, somebody here has been really on and off with you, okay? And it looks like, you know, by the near future, you may say to yourself, you know what, I don't want this. I'd rather move towards something that is going to turn into something that is gonna lead to success success. Okay. So we're going to see, I'm going to clarify this. I'm going to get more information um, on that for you in a moment. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the eight of wands and you have the six of cups. So this is about you discussing something with someone from your past. Okay. Now you also have the justice. Now we just had the solar eclipse in Libra. So this is going to affect us for the next six months. Anytime an eclipse happens, it always affects, affects us six months before and six months after. So it's different for all of us, depending on where it's happening in our astrology charts. But there's something here that's been stagnant for quite some time. Hangman, hey this is what you don't see coming. And it's connected to some 
somebody that you've been on and off with for quite some time. And one of the things that you may or may not know is that, um, and I'm just going to say this because some of you have been commenting, not only Aquarius, but other signs have been commenting as well. Whenever I'm doing readings and I talk about the past, I'm talking about the past because there's unresolved issues from the past. So if any of you are saying, I just want to have a new beginning, I don't care about the past. I don't want to talk about the past. Well, you're missing a piece of the puzzle. You need to correct the past in order to move forward to the new lesson or the new beginning that you're looking to have. And this is something that I see you doing unexpectedly. And unexpectedly, what you're doing is there is some sort of important conversation connected to somebody that you still haven't set things right with. And this is why in the present moment, there's a lot of worry and fear connected to this. Okay. So let's talk about this. Let's get into your reading. Let's see what's going on for you. Okay. So let's clarify your challenge. Okay, so the Eight of Pentacles is clarified by the Fool, the Six of Cups, and the Three of Wands. Your biggest challenge here, Aquarius, has a lot to do with wanting some sort of new beginning with someone from your past. Now, some of you may comment and say, well, I don't care about the past, I'm not interested. Well, then this isn't your reading because there's something here about you still being in love with someone from the past. Okay. Now this could also be vice versa. It could be some of you are dealing with someone maybe from the past that you're at a distance from, and they want to have a new beginning with you. And it may be challenging for you to accept this because there's something here about peanut butter. Okay. I don't know why I'm getting that, but there's something here about peanut butter, um, that could be connected to somebody here from the past. And, you know, your biggest challenge here is to possibly make a decision, right? The decision could be, you know, am I ready to go off and be on my own and do my own thing? Or do I want to have a new beginning with this person from the past? And this is what may be part of your challenge. And especially the fact that if you are still connected to someone from the past and you do want to work things out with them, the question is, how are you going to go about doing that? Right. And this is the biggest challenge because if they, if you've been on and off with this person for quite some time, you may be in the space right now where your idea of working things out and having a new beginning with this person may be diluted. Okay. Because you know, when we are played with so many times, we come to the point where we say to ourselves, you know what, maybe this isn't even going to happen. I don't even believe that this is going to happen. Right. So your challenge has a lot to do with two important things. The first thing is determining whether or not you want to have a new beginning with someone from the past. Second, determining whether or not, um, you want to have a new beginning completely on your own. Right. And what does that look like for you? Right. And what are the steps that are necessary in order for you to resolve some sort of issue? Cause there is something here that still needs to be resolved. Okay. And you know that, and it's a part of your new beginning and it's a part of you moving into some sort of new direction. Okay. And that's your challenge. That's what I'm seeing. Now let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the three of cups. So the three of cups is clarified by the emperor. You have the four of cups and you have the page of swords. So in the recent past, I do strongly feel that even though there was a reconciliation where you got back together with a particular person, there was still this energy of being or feeling like, you know, they weren't interested or you may have not been interested. I'm getting here that when somebody here made an offer to you, Aquarius, you questioned it. And I think one of the reasons why you questioned this was because you had some sort of expectation here in the past. Okay. I'm seeing 1212 on the clock. There could be some sort of important message connected to 1212. You're going to want to check out what number 1212 means for you when it comes to this situation in the past. Now there was a crossroads here in the past. There could have been some sort of communication here about a relationship, having a new beginning. I think a lot of you realized in the past how much you were connected to this person. But there was still this uncertainty here in the past. And this may be the reason why a marriage or a relationship didn't happen here in the past, maybe as quickly as you wanted it to. Tell me more about the two of wands in the recent past for Aquarius. So the two of wands is clarified by the ace of pentacles. You have the page of cups and you have the king of cups. So in the recent past, I'm really strongly getting that there was an offer of love. Okay. There was... First of all, there was two energies here in the past. There was a new opportunity to have a completely new beginning with someone new. That's for some of you, for others of you, there was an apology 
or there was some form of wanting forgiveness from you and there was a choice here in the past. Now, if this person betrayed you in the past or you didn't trust them in the past, this is the reason why something here never really got off the ground. Something never really got off the ground with this fire sign, Leo Sagittarius Aries. I'm getting um, Taurus here. Could be a Gemini, a Cancer, and Aries here in the past. Okay. Somebody here wanted, um, in the past, somebody here wanted uh, clarity from you about whether or not you wanted to have a new beginning. And you ended up disconnecting from this person anyways. I think one of the things that, you know, was really important to you in the past was your work. Okay. And this person... This person in the past was constantly waiting for you because they felt in the past that you were the one. And this is why they kept coming back or they kept trying to have some sort of new beginning with you. Somebody here really liked you in the past and they wanted you to make some sort of decision. Now in the present moment, um, there is a relationship here in the present moment or you're dating somebody casually or you're seeing someone casually and they're showing up in the present moment. But even though this is happening um, for you, Aquarius, I don't feel that you're a hundred percent satisfied or this person's a hundred percent satisfied with this. It's like they appear as if they are, but deep down inside, there's some sort of worry here. So it's almost like somebody here is not really showing their true feelings or emotions in the present moment. Tell me more about the shadow, the devil energy here in the present moment for Aquarius. So the shadow card is clarified by the wheel of fortune. You have the nine of cups and you have the um, nine of wands. Yeah. So this is about giving love a second chance. Th there's somebody here in the present moment you're giving a second chance to, or they're giving a second chance to you. And I feel with the nine of cups here, it is leading to a lot of fulfillment and satisfaction and happiness, but there's still some sort of concern here because the nine of swords is showing up. Some of you are worrying about something in the present moment that you don't even need to worry about because the wheel of fortunes here, which is very positive and it's indicating that something is changing within your relationship. Now that you're giving this person a second chance or they're giving you a second chance, this is why your challenge is the eight of pentacles, because as much as you want to have a new beginning with this person, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done in order to get it to that place where you you're not worried about it. Right. Um, so the wheel of fortunes here, it's good. The lovers is at the bottom with the star. Yep. So what's coming in in the present moment for you unexpectedly is a soulmate. But at the, at the beginning, at the first sight of this connection, you're like, no, I don't really see this, you know, panning out the way that I think it will. Um, it's just casual right now. I don't really see it going anywhere. So why are you worried about this situation? Let's figure it out. Why are you worried about this situation when in reality, what, what the universe is trying to show you is this is for you, right? So tell me more about the nine of swords in the present moment for Aquarius. So the nine of swords is clarified by the queen of wands. You have the two of wands and you have the four of pentacles. Yeah. So in the present moment, I don't feel like this is you. I feel like this is someone you're dealing with. This could be you. Some of you have a rising fire sign, Sagittarius, maybe a Leo. You could also have maybe a moon in Sagittarius. So what I'm really strongly getting for you, Aquarius, is th whoever this person is you're dealing with, they really strongly feel you're the one. But I think one of the things that you and this person may need to consider is the direction of the relationship. Because right now things are still casual. But now that you've given this situation a second chance, and some of you may say, well, I'm not you know, giving someone from the past a second chance. If this is a new person, you're still giving love a second chance, right? Um, just because you know I talk about someone from the past, the lessons stay the same. So whether it's a past person or new, but it doesn't matter. Okay. It's the fact that you want to feel happy and satisfied and you don't have to worry about it. So the reason why this person's worried or they're in fear right now is because the direction of the relationship and where it's going needs to be cleared because this person right now in the present moment, it really looks like they want to hold on to this. They really feel like you could be the one, especially with the um, wheel of fortune here. And the nine of cups is indicating to me that there's this feeling of, yes, I, I really do truly feel satisfied in this situation. And I feel like by giving it a second chance, it's going to lead to something great. So it's almost like something here in the present moment is being revived after this solar eclipse. You have the four of swords, the ace of cups and the knight of cups. Some of you, this is new love. Okay. And it is showing up here to confirm. So this new love is coming in, but there it's not solidified. Again, I keep getting this energy of it's not solidified. We're not, you know, um, 100% things are just casual right now. The reason why this person's coming into your life, this water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, maybe a Gemini, they're coming into your life because they, the part of their love that they're giving to you is, um, meant to help you heal. 
Okay. Cause remember how I said for some of you, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done before a new beginning happens. A lot of you are saying, and you've been saying this for quite some time. I want a new beginning. Oh, babe, a new beginning is coming for you. It may not be happening now. It may not be happening next month, but it's coming and it's going to come within the next six months because of these eclipses. So what this person is doing for you in the present moment, they, their energy is very, um, healing. Okay. The way they talk to you, the way they touch you, the way they speak to you, the things that they say to you, it's like they're coming in, but nothing is solidified yet. Okay. So there's still this thing here, Sagittarius. Um, some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius. There's still this thing here, Aquarius, and it's very complicated for you of needing to heal especially if you dealt with someone who was on and off in the past and now you're trying to have a new beginning. A lot of you are afraid that by getting into a relationship, again, you may end up uh, regretting it or it may not be as stable as you want it to be. And this is about still having expectations in the present moment, but also recognizing if your expectations are realistic. Okay. So there's a lot of potential here in the present moment, but you need to allow something to plan, pan out and play out the way it needs to, because the wheel of fortune's here. Whenever the wheel of fortune shows up, yes, it's a positive thing, but it's also a re reinforcement from the universe. The universe is saying, Hey, everything happens within this time. The wheel is a representation of time. It's a representation of Saturn. Okay. Um, and Aquarius, you are connected to the sign of Saturn or the planet, the luminary Saturn. So this is about allowing something to flow the way it needs to without worrying about it. Now in the near future, I think one of the things that you realize, which is super beautiful is you realize that it's time for you to have a new beginning and that it's time for you not only just to believe that you are meant to have a new beginning, but to start planning that new beginning. Okay. Um, this person that you're, um, dating or you're seeing in the present moment is showing up in the near future, which is a good sign. Okay. And we're going to talk about that um, we're going to talk about that person first, and then we're going to talk about this new direction that you're going to be taking, which I see here in the cards. It's going to be, it's going to lead to some sort of, um, success for you. So who is this person in the near future with the Knight of, uh, cauldrons, the Knight of cups here in the near future for Aquarius. So the Knight of Cups is clarified by the Nine of Swords. You have the Queen of Cups and you have the King of Swords. So there you are. So what ends up happening in the near future, and it gets very interesting, a lot of you, um, there's this energy Aquarius here in the near future of confronting this person. Okay. You're confronting this person and you're saying, Hey, you know, we've been seeing each other for a while. Uh, you know, we are liking it. It's feeling great. It's feeling good. I'm feeling satisfied. You're feeling satisfied. Where is this going? So eventually there is this talk about, okay, where is this going? Okay. I'm seeing 1221 on the clock. There could be something here about 1221. So you're going to want to check out what 1221 means in angel numbers, because there, you know, it could be connected to this connection. There is an important connection that's coming into your life. But again, the nine of swords is here in the near future. And the nine of swords is an indication of worry, fear, and uncertainty. So I think one of the things that happened for you in the near future is yes, this person's coming into your life and yes, you're in a way there's, there really isn't any expectation, right? It's like, okay, whatever. I'm not going to have an expectation, but it comes to the point where you may mention something and say something. And this is why the eight of wands is here in terms of what you don't see coming. Cause there is an important conversation and you may bring up the past. Okay. You know, um, in terms of what you don't see coming, you may bring up the past because a lot of you don't want to have to repeat that same lesson. Okay. So what I see you doing in the near future, and there's the death with the 10 of pentacles, it's all or nothing for you in the near future, right? It's like, I'm either going to have it all, or I'm going to have nothing, you know, um, because a lot of you are tired of feeling stuck or feeling alone or feeling like things are not moving the way that you want to. And this is why your happiness is going to end up coming in because you know what you want. Okay. One of the things that stops us from actually getting and receiving what we want, especially during manifestations. It doesn't happen unless we know what we want and we can feel that emotion and we can bring that into our lives before it even enters into our lives. So what a lot of you are doing in the near future is you may decide to go off and have a new beginning completely on your own. And you may say to yourself, well, Hey, if this person really does want to be with me, they're going to follow along. So there's something here, Aquarius, about you being a leader in the near future. I'm seeing 1222 on the clock. 
check out what 1222 means. There could be some sort of important message there for you. So let's clarify the page of wands. Tell me more about the page of wands in the near future. So the page of wands is clarified by the 10 of pentacles, the death and the three of cups you see. So a lot of you are celebrating the fact that you're going to be moving into a new direction. You're planning something. This could be travel, a new business, um, you know, some sort of new direction here, especially after the eclipses. And again, for many of you, it's all or nothing. There's the same cards that I just talked about. Here they are coming out again, all or nothing, 10 of pentacles, death, three of cups. So you're celebrating the fact that you are moving into a new direction. Some of you are choosing to end a relationship here in the near future. Now we are going to have the lunar eclipse in Taurus on the 26th. I believe the 26th or 28th, maybe the 28th. One of those two dates, okay? Um, we're going to have a lunar eclipse and it's going to be squaring your sun, your moon, or rising. So what does this mean? It means that there may be some sort of tension here in the near future, but this tension is happening because it's pushing you to recognize how important a new beginning is for you. And sometimes we need a little bit of that push in order to make things happen. So whatever this new direction is that you are moving into, it is going to lead to tons and tons of success, but I feel like it's something that is outside of your comfort zone. And as a fixed sign, you are a fixed air sign, which means you don't like change easily. Okay. Unless change is absolutely necessary. You may not like it unless there's, um, planets in your chart that uh, indicate otherwise. Okay. So a lot of you are going to be letting it know, be known that you prefer to be alone or you prefer to be single. Um, and the reason why that is, is because you are working on yourself. You're going to be focusing on a business that you're creating. A lot of you have still have trust issues and you're coming to this realization that even if you want to start something new with someone, it may not be the right timing because you don't a hundred percent trust. It's almost like you have to tell this person what you want in the near future. And because you have to do that, you may say to yourself, well, what's the point of me being with this person? If I have to tell them, they should just intuitively know, right? Um, so again, I feel like you're ending something here in the near future. You're celebrating the fact that you're ending it and you're moving towards something here that's going to lead to success, but it's a choice, you know, and it may take you some time to disconnect from something here. Could be a long-term commitment that you're in a job, something here that's been holding you back for quite some time. Um, I feel like you're going to be disconnecting and moving forward from it. Okay. So let's get some advice. What's the advice for Aquarius? Okay. The advice for you, Aquarius is the King of Pentacles. You have the world and the Ace of Swords, your biggest piece of advice. Okay. Um, your biggest piece of advice here is to address your issues and concerns regarding a certain person in your life. Okay. There's a certain person in your life. You have some sort of expectation on this person, or they have an expectation on you. Um, if this is about someone that you ended things with, there's still a need here for closure the right way. And I talked um, to Capricorn about this. Some of you could have been dealing with a Capricorn here in the past. I'm getting a Gemini here, maybe um, a Taurus, Scorpio, or a Leo. Something here, you know, has come to an end or needs to come to an end, but there needs to be some form of clarity in terms of why it came to an end. Because if you are watching this now and you're somebody who's saying, I want to have a new beginning and you haven't closed out cycles from the past correctly, then what that does is it follows you. Okay. It follows you. It energetically leaves a stain, uh, on your auric field. And what that does is people who are highly spiritual can see, right? People can see, you know, your trauma, people can see your unresolved issues. It comes out in your voice. It comes out in your attitude. It comes out in your day-to-day -day activities. Okay. So if that's you, this is a big piece of advice for you where you need to be listening. Okay. Um, this is about clearly saying to yourself and to this person, why things ended. What is the logical reason behind why something here ended? Because when you make it clear on why something ended, and, and again, this ending could have happened because maybe you created or you put some sort of boundaries. Maybe you have a higher expectation. Maybe you want a better um, environment, whatever the case is, why did this come to an end? And this is about actually having this conversation. Cause you see these two with the King of shields, they're having a conversation. They may not want to be with one another. They may not feel like, okay, this is for me, but this is why this happened. 
And this is what I'm expecting moving forward because you are the magician of your life. You're the one that's creating your reality. As much as we may not believe that, we are. Every time we think, every time we act, every time we are in the moment, uh, we are creating our reality. So it's really important that you're clear on why something here ended and being clear with someone, an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, maybe a Gemini, Whoever this person is, make it clear why something ended. When you finally make something clear on why it ended and you put your foot down, you're signaling to the universe and you're saying to the universe, look, this is not what I wanted. I expect more for myself and I want better for myself. And this is clearly why this needed to come to an end. And at that point, when you're clear on why something came to an end, you're now energetically making room for a new beginning to come in. And this is what the eclipses are all about. Solar eclipse in Libra, lunar eclipse in Taurus, okay? So Aquarius, I hope you got something from this reading. Thank you very much for tuning in and I will see you on the next one.